Nice organization loves to celebrate its past. And, and the thing about baseball is that you've got to pass these stories on from generation to generation. I mean, of our fans, even today, a lot of our fans never saw Willie play. They never saw the Polo Grounds, but it's part of who we are. It was a number of years ago now, but uh, a friend of mine, his name was Mike Doyle. Um, Mike uh, was a partner in an advertising agency. But he called me one day and said, um, you know, I'm a collector, I have a lot of things, but, uh, but I have the letters from, from the Polo Grounds that spelled out the New York Giants. And he said, I don't have the NY, but I have the, the word Giants. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but the organization should I mean, I prefer that, that the organization keep it. It's funny because I keep wanting to look at them because they, when you look at them up close, they really are beaten up. And they're, you can see the metal coming through the color on it, but that's what makes it authentic. And that's what makes it special. And that's what reminds you that it was a long time ago that, that, that the Polo Grounds um, is where the Giants played. In 99, the last year, I got the idea of just having everybody sign it. I thought it would be a pretty cool thing to do. And at first, I had to beg the guys to sign it, and all at once they just fell into place, and they just, they started thanking me. They were honored to be on the door. So it just took off from there, and then the last day of the season, I put it out in the hall, that's when all the old ball players came in and stuff, and they all just jumped right in and signed it. It means a lot. It means a lot of my life. It's, it's something, they can take the job, but they can't take those memories. And I can see the guy signing it. Sometimes if I just stop and look at it, I can see certain guys laying on the floor, signing the door when he got down low. It just brings back a lot. 